My name is H.A. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. Hit subscribe right now. We're almost at 131,000 subscribers on our way to 140. Thousand, and I want to thank you for your support. Um, you definitely want to get the viewpoint of someone the Huffington Post called the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, who is now a strong Trump supporter. Peace between North and South Korea is something Obama never even came close to achieving. And a great economy is also something Obama didn't uh, achieve. We can go on forever. 300,000 manufacturing jobs lost. Um, Three hundred and what fifty plus thousand manufacturing jobs gained. So that's it's clear cut. Um, we can go down the line of all the things: opioid legislation, prison reform. We can discuss all the achievements that media doesn't give credit for, uh, give Trump credit for. But um, this is really important, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you know that um, Trump got the answers to an exam, the Mueller exam. OMG, this is really crazy. How this this was supposed to be a closed note test. They were supposed to study for this, and Mueller and or Manafort gave uh, Trump the questions. We're now back in high school or college or middle school. This is insanity. Manafort's lawyer said to brief Trump attorney on what he told Mueller. What? No, that's crazy. So therefore, Trump knew the Mueller report questions because he knew what what Mueller what Mueller asked Manafort. What are we What are we doing? What is going on here? Is this some Is this like a, a test that Trump has to take just to continue as president? Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton transferred top secret intelligence outside the United States government. You know who would have indicted her, Matthew Whitaker, before he was Attorney General. Respectfully, do your job. Attorney General Matthew Whitaker, go where the evidence takes you. Top secret intelligence outside the United States government. Fact. Fact. There's no debate. Private server, unencrypted, that you don't have to, you don't need evidence to state with certainty, with, with, with virtual certainty that the entire planet hacked her server. This harms national security. I don't give a you-know-what. I don't care if the DNC was allegedly hacked, because it wasn't anyway. If it was, the DNC would go straight to the to the NSA and say, here, here are our computer servers. Please look at them. They wouldn't hire CrowdStrike to then give images of the servers to the uh, FBI. And with those images, we indict, uh, you know, uh, Russian intelligence officers, and then we make all these claims about WikiLeaks. Da, 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 da. Well, but why? Why? Because the because CrowdStrike gave accurate, pristine images. Right? Why didn't they hire an RNC um, preferred uh, tech company? Why didn't the DNC? Why did they hire CrowdStrike? Why didn't they just go to, to Trump and say, "Hey, Trump, you know any good?" Um, Tech companies? How about Trump strike? Of course not. That would be a conflict of interest. Trump would Trump would refer a a, a company that, that would say that there was no Russian hacking. Aha! Aha! So there's a conflict of interest. Why would you trust CrowdStrike? The basis of all of this is CrowdStrike assessment or 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 CrowdStrike images given. So, um. The U.S. government, United States government, is going to bat for a private entity that in in their defense, defense lawyers for the DNC, and this is why everyone should always remember the sacrifice and the contribution that Jared Beck, Elise, uh, Elizabeth Beck, and Nico House made. Without them, we wouldn't have the DNC fraud lawsuit that very few people on the left talked about. All those people who were like, Medicare for all, man! You know, green green economy. This is that's a good. These are good things. They're not feasible at this moment, but these are good things. I'm not. I'm not disparaging the ideals. I'm disparaging the uh, Pelosi. Uh, oh yeah, well maybe we'll let you have it. Oops, yeah, we were just joking. We've deceived you again, and we got you to be enthusiastic and vote. And we're just gonna. You're gonna fall in line. We pretended that you can have 
Medicare for all. Uh, Medicare for all. You know when I'm going to get a bill in Congress? A Medicare for all bill when, when the Messiah comes. That's when a Medicare for all bill is going to come out of this Congress with Pelosi. They're not, they're not, they were never serious about Medicare for all of these lofty ideals, which, yeah, they're, they're definitely moral. They're not feasible, but that's another story. Pelosi will say no. She'll say, oh, hey, we got you to, to go to the polls. Now, for two years, we're going to inspect Trump's underwear. Oops, sorry, we just can't go through $15 minimum wage and, and Medicare for all. We deceived you again. And you will fall in line. Uh, 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 what was that? Okay, thank you. You'll fall in line. The, the Democrats, they have these loyal, loyal, oh, I can go on forever. Democrats say jump, and generally their voters say how high. Um, Republicans are different. I know, I've learned this becoming more conservative and becoming a Trump supporter. If Trump... If, if the RNC cheated Trump, you would have, like, half the Republican Party defect. With, with, proudly. <laughs> proudly defect. Democrats cheat Bernie. They're like, oh, I guess we got to fall in line. But, again, this is a report from the New York Times. So six minutes, 30 seconds in. You could just let people know. Paul Manafort said to brief Trump attorney on what he told Mueller. What? That's not fair. You can't give answers to the test. Oh, someone's going to get expelled here. Someone's going to get kicked out of school. I think it's President Trump. That's it. We, you've had a good time, President Trump, but you did. These are rules. These are, these are academic rules. You um, got the answers from Manafort and the Mueller report questions. So, so you're going to have to retake the test. We're going to give you a new Mueller report with new questions. You're going to have to retake it. And if you answer anything wrong, well, then you're, you're not going to pass it. A lawyer for Paul Manafort, the president's one-time campaign chairman, repeatedly briefed President Trump's lawyers on his clients' discussions. Oh, my God. Is this impeachable? No. With federal investigators after Mo Manafort agreed to cooperate with the special counsel, according to one of Mr. Trump's lawyers and two other people familiar with the conversations. Wow, what great journalism. It's fantastic. Fantastic. The arrangement was highly un unusual. That's highly unusual. And inflamed tensions with the special counsel's office when prosecutors delivered it. Discovered it after Mr. Manafort began cooperating two months ago, the people said. Some legal experts speculated that it was a bid by Mr. Manafort for a presidential pardon, even as he worked with, with the special counsel, Robert S. Mueller III, in hopes of a lighter sentence for his ostrich feather jacket. Rudy Giuliani, one of the president's... Rudolph W. Giuliani... One of the president's personal lawyers acknowledged the arrangement on Tuesday and defended it as a source of valuable insights into the special counsel's inquiry <laughs> and where it was headed. Such information could help shape a legal defense strategy and it also appeared to give Mr. Trump and his legal advisors ammunition in their public relations campaign against Mr. Mueller, Mr. Mueller's office because yeah, they wanted to just hurt Manafort. Look, today Trump stated in a tweet, I was actually going to do a segment just on that tweet, but he, he stated that the heroes, heroes, people will be heroic or seen as heroes as they expose Mueller for who he is. By the way, 5347 in the Senate, Cindy Hyde-Smith wins 53 Republicans to 47 Democrats in the Senate. Uh, you'll never impeach Trump. You'll never stop Amy Coney Barrett, you will never implement any of the ideals that even if you were serious and tried to get them through the House, they they wouldn't be they wouldn't be voted upon because you don't have the Senate. So Democrats yet once again lost, 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 no matter what. They the the House was a Pyrrhic victory. I'm actually very glad that I was wrong about the House. Why? Well, I was right about 2016 when nobody was saying that Hillary would lose. I was warned everyone about that. But, or I thank God Trump won, but I stated that now there's a hashtag Bernie would have won and whatever. I was stating that long before it became popular. Now, thank goodness I've left that cult. But 
let me just get to the point without getting sidetracked like I usually do. Um, the phony witch hunt continues, but Muller and his gang of angry dumbs are only looking at one side, not the other. Wait until wait until it comes out how horribly and viciously they treat they they are treating people, ruining lives for them refusing to lie. Gee, you think that Mueller tried to get Manafort to lie? Do you think that Mueller tried to get Manafort to lie? Probably. Probably. Mueller is a conflicted prosecutor gone rogue. Rogue. That's awesome. The fake news media. Now, this is great. You know, Donald Trump is doing this. President Trump's fighting back. Great. Now we have to step it up, Mr. President. Not enough to tweet. Tweeting's great. It's actually diminishing returns at this point. People who like you are going to continue to like you, but they're also going to actually wonder when the tweets uh, morph into action or correlate to action, act decisively, and take the evidence, go where the evidence takes you regarding Hillary Clinton. It'll take you to indictments. Mueller is not going where the evidence takes him. Otherwise, he would just end the probe. He would have ended the probe two years ago. There is no evidence of Trump Russia. The evidence was purchased through CrowdStrike and the dossier, and BuzzFeed is suing the DNC. That's public record knowledge. The Hill, Vanity Fair, okay. The fake news media builds Bob Mueller up as a saint. He's not a saint at all. While he was Obama's FBI director, um, uranium, yellow cake uranium was shipped out of the United States of America. That is in the New York Times, so no one can refute that, okay? Brainwa liberals are brainwashed. Debunked! It's been debunked! No, it hasn't. Obama did preside over the uranium sale. That, that that alone short circuits the liberal brain. Like, uh, what? It's been debunked. No, it hasn't. No. Cash did flow to the Clinton Foundation, and then Obama refused to veto the sale, and Putin did get 20% of U.S. uranium capacity. Debunked! Debunked! No, not debunked. Well, what, what was debunked then? Well, nothing has been debunked regarding... The cash from the uranium one into the Clinton Foundation possibly having an influenced Clinton. Oh, it's been debunked. That's debunked. Vox says it's been debunked. You and your conspiracies. No. If you look at a pattern of pay-to-play schemes, uranium one, Boeing, UBS, weapons deals, 85 donors gave $156 million to meet Clinton, um, Haiti. There's a whole bunch. There's the Podesta email said 500 conflicts of interest by one Clinton Foundation employee. But I just named you, what, six or seven scandals right there. What they do, what liberal media does, is they focus on one in this, like, you know, laboratory environment. Like, this is, you can't prove that. Yeah, but if it's continual, pay, if, if continually money flows into a foundation, and then you continually see beneficial outcomes for the people who gave money, yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem. But here, the fake news media builds Bob Mueller up as a saint when in actuality he is the exact opposite. He's doing, tre he's doing a tremendous job, uh, tremendous damage to our criminal justice system where he is only looking at one side, not the other. Heroes will come of this. And it won't be Mueller and his terrible gang of angry Democrats. Heroes will come of this. Well, we're waiting. We need action. You have 210 days till, what, mid-June 2019. We need action, President Trump. We need you to do what you promised. Some people have said, you know, H, I agree 100% with you. Rarely somebody, you know, some, some people might say, H, I, you think you know better, better than Trump? I'm not saying I do. I'm saying that voters are getting restless. They want something done. They want some some kind of even scale of just scales of justice to be even. The lunatics and the brainwashed um, fools have controlled the narrative long enough. Now get the Democratic Party and get media and get liberal pundits and even get some progressive pundits, weed them out to to defend Hillary. That's what'll happen. 
They'll say that Trump is a tyrant. They'll say, let's impeach Trump. They'll say Whitaker is unconstitutional. They'll say um, she didn't commit any crimes. They'll Each one of the rebuttals will be easily uh, refuted. Or each one, there, there will be easy rebuttals to each one of the claims. The hysteria, the madness, the queen, oh my God, Queen Hillary, Queen Clinton. Just go where the evidence takes you. Matthew Whitaker wrote already he would have indicted Clinton. So then you're now, you're now Attorney General, so go ahead and do it. What are you waiting for? Do it before Christmas as a Christmas present. Okay? What's the problem? I believe Whitaker's a religious guy. Just do it for everyone else. Do it for everyone. People who aren't Christian. I'm Jewish. It'll be a fantastic... I'm sure Muslims and Jews and Christians and everyone... We'll be very happy. Big Christmas present for the country. Oh, my God, you, you're a horrible person. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about setting anyone up. I'm not talking about framing people, which is what they did to Obama. I mean, what Obama did to Trump. I'm talking about if someone's guilty, if someone has committed crimes. Rudy Giuliani, Joe DeGeneva, Victoria Tenzing, Tom Fitton, Paul Sperry, H.A. Goodman. Um, I'm, I'm not in their league, but... I'm just saying myself, Dan Bongino, all these people. You'll have a lot of people who have a voice in politics. I, my voice is not as loud as everyone else's that I mentioned, but I have, a vo I have a voice. And when you watch this channel, you definitely have a voice. And as my voice grows, I'm hoping that, you know, your voice grows as well. If you, if you, if you like my work and you like my thoughts... But when Clinton gets indicted, um, you'll have the outrage will be you'll have reciprocal um, the other side of the scale. You'll have people saying, hey, this is long overdue. Use their momentum. This is like a Bruce Lee thing. Use their momentum against them. The Democrats have two things that bolster them. One is the hope of, of progressive legislation, which they're joking they're completely deceived their voters as usual. And two is the media. They don't really have any specific... Roe v. Wade and gun control, it's pretty much it. That's their value system. If you are a religious person, it would be disarming your family and allowing lives to be taken from the womb. <laughs> I'm not saying that I, well, the disarming the family, yeah, I, I'm, the whole abortion Roe v. Wade thing, that's I'm not even going to get into that right now. But that's one way to look at it from, from, from a conservative perspective. That's really the only thing the Democrats have, so. They don't, they don't, you think they, you think Democrats, you think Max Boot and Bill Kristol and Pelosi and Clinton? You think they want Medicare for all in a green economy? They get money from oil companies and oil and gas companies. Hillary Clinton did. You think they're stupid? They know what they're doing. And you get the idealistic, you know, voices out there. Hey, you know, you know, you're helping funnel, just like you did in 2016, funnel all the votes right back into the cheaters and all the, you know. I'm look. Someone today said, um, "Oh, H, how do you feel about having the Supreme Court for thirty to forty years vote against your interests?" Hey, my interests have changed. My value system has changed. The Second Amendment is important to me. The Constitution is important to me. I don't want gun control. No, thank you, because law-abiding citizens will. <laughs> will abide by the laws. Criminals, I don't know if liberals know this, or Democrats, they don't abide by laws. Funny thing about criminals. They get, um, you know, illegally obtained weapons. Funny how that works. We're going to ban this. You know what? The criminal didn't get the message. Nor does he care. So. The Second Amendment, there are people, all Americans, black, white, Latino, Asian, uh, Christian, Jewish, Muslim, all Americans should defend their families and take advantage of the Second Amendment. It's a right that, it's a God-given right, but it's also a right that is in our Constitution, that it's not even, it's not even in the, in the Constitution, the way it's written, it's not even a right that's granted to you by government. 
shall not be infringed, the assumption is that a person already has that right to own, you know, firearms. Anyway, the whole, where am I going with this? As usual, I'm all over the place. Um, the Mueller probe was a setup. The Mueller probe was a vile, disgusting setup. And Hillary Clinton purchased her own Russian hacking myth. The Read the indictments of Russian intelligence officers. How on earth does the American government, the U, does the U.S. government know that they hacked the DNC servers? They never laid eyes upon the DNC servers. Well, well Vox and Gizmodo and, and Vice and everyone. Don't, you're so stupid. Trump is such an idiot with his conspiracies. They, the CrowdStrike was very nice, and they gave an image of the servers. And you don't even need to look at the servers. All you need is an image. It's the millennial comeback. When they, it's the millennial embracing Clinton's behind, embracing their own conspiracy theory rebuttal to why didn't the government look at DNC servers? They had a hundred of them, stupid. Yeah, why didn't the government look at them? They didn't need to. Why not? Because CrowdStrike gave them the images. Who hired CrowdStrike? Well, that's not important. Did Trump hire CrowdStrike? No, don't be stupid. If Trump hired CrowdStrike, <laughs> if he would hire somebody. He would hire a company that would actually do his bidding. That's the way Trump works. Then who hired CrowdStrike, dummy? You stupid idiot. Oh, Clinton did, but she wouldn't hire a, co a company that would do her bidding. She's pure as the driven snow. Hillary Clinton is a saint, along with President Obama and Nancy Pelosi and Anthony Weiner and Eric Schneiderman and Keith Ellison. <laughs> They're all saints. And Deborah, Deborah Wasserman awesome Schultz. Dear Deborah Wasserman, I long for your touch. This is Bernard again. Though we cannot be together, I want you to know that I will always remember your, your, your beautiful, flowing, curly hair and our love will remain intact Till climate change destroys the planet because of Trump. Nobody knows that you and I have had a lustful desire for so long. What we did with Medicare for All, convincing voters that they could actually get it through Pelosi's death grip. Skeletor, get death grip. What we did was magic. Magic. It was wonderful, is what I'm trying to say. And if anyone says a derogatory word about you, Deborah Wasserman, you'll have me to contend with. Signed, your beloved, Bernard. That's what that's what Bernie writes to De Deborah Wasserman. Anyway, let's see what's going on. So, terrible gang of angry Democrats. Look at their past and look where they came from. The now thirty million dollar witch hunt. Oh, that's good. Thirty million dollars. Thirty million dollars could have gone to homeless people. Thirty million dollars could have gone to cancer research. Thirty million dollars could have gone to the great economy because we're all going to perish. Obama presided over the largest expansion of a domestic oil production of any president ever. Not that environmentalist billionaires care. Anyway, the now th or, or you know all the climate change people, which I yeah I do believe climate change is real. Fine, but if if it's real and it's gonna we're all gonna perish soon. Do you think that you know Obama's uh, largest expansion of oil and gas production in U.S. history, domestic? 
production. Do you think that's good or bad? I'll give you a couple minutes. Brainwashed lefties. You think it's good or bad? You think that we're... Um, how many times have you gotten this stupid guilt trip? You don't, Trump doesn't even believe in climate change. We're all going to perish. We're all, we're going to, you know, we're, this, this planet has a, it's ticking. It's ticking. Well, what did Obama do? Paris Climate Accords. It, which is, <laughs> how is that going to overshadow the thousands of miles of pipelines he built, oil pipelines, and the, the greatest domestic expansion of oil and gas in American history? Under any during any president, how does that overshadow? Well, then their brains fry and the Matrix program stops running. The now thirty million dollar witch hunt continues, and they've got nothing but ruined lies, which is true. They're evil. They are evil. That's why, like, look at the end of the day, if Matthew Whitaker, and this is a respectful, respectful message of love and support to the Trump administration, the new Attorney General Matthew Whitaker. If you know they're evil and you don't do anything about it, you are complicit in evil. Just letting you know. If you know they're evil and you say, golly gee, we just can't right now, that you're complicit in evil. That's it. Where is the server? Let these terrible people go back to the Clinton Foundation and quote-unquote Justice Department. Where is the server? So again, that that is the issue. The issue is, the issue is, they didn't. Nobody looked at the server. So you don't. We don't know in the indictments when they say, oh, "Yeah, well, this happened and that happened." Based on what? Crowd strike assessment. Based on well, you know, and and then you know this happened. And, and, you know, Assange, WikiLeaks, and this happened, and this guy didn't. We don't know. We have no clue. By the way, wh- wh- where are the indictments for Gucci for 2.0? Ever thought of that? The Sabinia Media, Elizabeth Voss, brilliant journalist, and the journalists there broke that story. Anyway, we are just waiting now for justice. We're just waiting for Matthew Whitaker and President Trump to do what they need to do. F- go where the evidence takes them. I have never been an advocate of indicting Hillary Clinton if the evidence doesn't go there. If the evidence goes there and you don't have to make people flip and sing and flip and sing, you the glee from these liberals who care so much about mean tweets, the glee, the, the, that pure joy in people, the schadenfreude, the, the, the pure joy in people's pain and suffering. Oh, Manafort's going down. Flynn is going down. Gates is going. Papadopoulos is going down. They were so happy. Carter Page is going down. For what? Where is the collusion? Where is the evidence of anything? The Clintons have gotten away with endless crimes. And the server issue with top secret intelligence on the server is actually, imagine if Aldrich Ames and Robert Hansen had that (laughs) issue. Imagine if they had their own server. Nobody would know, absolutely nobody would know that they were committing treason. Why would you trust Clinton not to do the same? Even I don't think she was just selling secrets. Even I don't think that, but I think that she was very likely engaged in treasonous behavior. Oh, yeah, well, it's public record knowledge, so you just go ahead. Even though it's classified, it's not really public record, but kind of, but sort of. But, you know, they live in the gray area. And they rely on all the smartest people in the room who are actually not the smartest people in the room. These journalists who are, like, stupid, they already got the, 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 you know, the uh, images or the scans from, from CrowdStrike or... Oh, yeah, you know, well, the the Brennan thinks so. Yeah, yeah. there's no evidence there. No, they don't have any evidence of Trump-Russia collusion. They've wiretapped everyone. They've made, tried to make everyone flip and sing. Meanwhile, Clinton actually did commit crimes, and it's it, you know. And Matthew Whitaker did write that he would indict Clinton when he wasn't attorney general. So we got until June 15th. But anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Um, 
Manafort, <laughs> Manafort gave Trump Mueller report questions, which is absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Which very likely means that everyone else did also. You think Trump is stupid? Um, we already found out from the New York Times that he wanted the Justice Department to act. He couldn't under Sessions. Maybe he's waiting for Christmas time. Maybe he's waiting for New Year's. Maybe he's waiting for January or February. Who knows? Clinton will get indicted, not because of my belief in justice. Obviously, wealthy criminals and connect, well-connected criminals get off scot-free all the time. She's a sloppy criminal, like a sloppy drunk. You know, like Michael Jackson, the smooth criminal. She's a sloppy, sloppy criminal. And what she did damaged national security. You can't have top secret and special access program intelligence and classified data outside the United States government. The whole world hacked into the server. It was unencrypted for like close to six months. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Manafort passed questions to Trump. That's it. That's it. He's going to be kicked out of the White House. Give me your thoughts. Thank you so very, very much. Hit subscribe. Hit that little red button. Where's that red button? Hit subscribe right now.